Hey there! Update 2.3 went live. In this video I'm going to show you five new features included in that update. So let's get started. The very first thing I want to talk about, that's a new tool. It's always good to have a new tool with the update and this time in version 2.3 we get a spiral tool. So that's a shape tool available in all three programs. Let me just demonstrate this one in here with Affinity Designer. So if you go to the shapes, that's the long menu with so many shapes, at the very bottom there will be a new one. Spiral tool, we can draw a spiral just like this one and there are so many control options for us and that's really nice. So let's take a look at the top for a moment. We can control the color of it, color of the stroke, right? We can change the color easily from here. We can change the style of the overall spiral. Okay, declining. We got Fibonacci one as well and plotted like that. So we can change the style using this drop down menu. We can use the segmental one or the classic one and we can turn it counterclockwise. Finally you can decide how many turns you need and adjust the angle as well. So that's nice. We got our radius as well, so we can make the center a bit larger. And like always, if you need further modification, you can turn it into curve. So you can convert to curves and use your node tool to make some modifications to it. I'm probably going to make a separate tutorial showing how we can integrate this new shape tool into our workflows. Alright, so that's a new tool available in all three programs just added in version 2.3. And I think now with this new addition, we got all necessary shapes. Take a look how long this list is. We got all necessary shapes. I think nothing's missing anymore. So that's nice. We got the final shape that was missing on the list now. Second thing added in recent update is password protected PDF export. It's a big deal for Affinity Publisher, but it's going to be used in all three programs. So if you go to File and try to export your file, select PDF. Then head to Advanced. It's maybe close like that, so open it up, go to Advanced section below, and at the very bottom you will see this password protection when you can set up the password and the PDF can be open only if the person typed the password in. Very useful. All right, what else is new? This one is just for Affinity Designer. By default, Pencil Tool will select your last drawing. So let me just show you. If you draw something using Pencil Tool and you finish, it's selected. And some people really want to have option for that. And now they can. We can just click here, keep selected. We can switch this off. So now when you draw something new, that's it. You see, it's not selected anymore. So now we got keep selected as an option, not as a default. The next thing is a proper pixel grid. That's a big deal for Rust editing software, but it's available in all three programs. So if you zoom in really close, at some point you will see a pixel grid. This way we can evaluate what will be the size of the pixel in our final output based on the size of our image. All right, so take a look. I keep zooming in and then at some point they show me grid. I didn't set up this grid, that's a pixel grid. So one square is just one pixel in the final output. It will depend on resolution of your image. All right, so there's a pixel grid integrated now in all three programs. And the fifth feature I want to mention, the last one, is asset panel backdrop. We can modify this right now. It's also available in all three programs. As you can see, most features from update 2.3 are for all three programs. So that's a good thing, I guess. If you head to our window, we can see this asset panel. By default, it's switched off, so let's turn it on. 
And now on the left side, you can see your assets. Here are assets that I add from the font awesome. I make a tutorial showing how to add those assets. And the problem was by default, they're all black. And the UI is quite dark in Affinity Designer by default as well. But now we can adjust that. So that's really cool. Let's click the menu here in the asset area. And there will be option for the backdrop and we can change auto, light, dark and also checkerboard. If I change to light, that's way better now. I kind of like the checkerboard though. Perfect. And way easier to see dark assets when you're using the dark UI and also way easier to see bright assets if you go with the bright UI. So now we can adjust just the backdrop for this panel here. That's really, really good change. Small change, but I think this one that we really, really need. All right, so now we can set up the backdrop for the asset panel separately. Very nice. There are a few smaller updates that I did not mention here. I just want to highlight top five. You can check the full documentation on the website as always. So let's recap. Now we can set up custom backgrounds for the asset panel. There's a pixel grid integrated in all three programs. When using pencil tool, you can opt out for keep selecting. You can export your PDF with the password protection. And there's totally new shape tool for all three programs called Spiral Tool. As you can see, this update is rather smaller, but that's the approach they want to take now. They plan to release more updates more often, but less new features per update. So I guess we will get the next one maybe in just two months or something like that. I hope you like this video. If you found it helpful, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.